Hare Krishna. So we are discussing the significance of various symbols on the lotus feet of Krishna. So we have discussed fish, we have discussed the symbol, the moon. And now we will try to understand the next symbol that is triangle, Trikona. So Trikona has got three points. And the Vedic, the Vedic scriptures say that they represent the three eyes of Lord Shiva. And what is Lord Shiva doing? He is always meditating on the lotus feet of the Lord. After all, he is Vaishnavanam Yathashambhu. He is the topmost Vaishnav and he is teaching by his own example that yes, always meditate on the lotus feet of the Lord. And this is what is a triangle, his three eyes. Therefore, it's a very important thing that we devotees should also meditate on the lotus feet of the Lord by chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra. There's another very important significance. Trikona has got three points, three sides, and also represents three miseries. Adhyatmika klesha, suffering caused by body and mind. Adi, adi bhautika klesha, sufferings caused by other living entities. And Adi Daivika Klesha, sufferings caused by natural calamities or Devatas. So anyone who takes shelter of the Lord, they are free from this Tapatraya. They are free from this Tapatraya, the threefold miseries. So wonderful. This is the significance of meditating on the lotus feet of the Lord. And there are similar descriptions. When we chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra, Tapatraya is removed. Therefore, I always say that yes, meditating on the lotus feet and chanting on the holy names are identical. And Shastras very clearly describes that Krishna is absolute. His form and his name, they are identical, they are same. There is very nice significance that is given. Lord's lotus feet, they are the ultimate refuge, ultimate shelter for everyone. And who are those everyone? Three planetary system, personalities residing in three planetary systems. Upper, middle, the place where we are and the lower planetary systems. So this Trikona represents these, the residence of three planetary systems. All of them they are taking shelter of the Lord or they are aspiring to take shelter of the Lord. Or they have to take shelter of the Lord if they want to be free from threefold miseries. And also a very, very wonderful thing which will be a very great booster for our Japa. These three sides or three corners, it represents body, mind and words. So when we devotees practice devotional service, it's very important that we engage our body, our mind and our speech words. So when we engage all the three, then we are fully focused, engaged in service of the Lord. Therefore, now when we are chanting, we should meditate on this triangle. All the significance, especially the last one, that we have to engage our body, speech and mind in service of the Lord, His lotus feet. So when we are chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra, this triangle becomes very, very important. So when we are chanting, we are moving the beads, we are using our body, we are sitting straight. And then, Along with that, we are chanting. And along with that, we are trying to focus our mind on the Holy Name. So this is the triangle. Therefore, when we are chanting, we should ask ourselves, Am I engaging my body? Yes. Am I engaging my speech? Yes. Am I engaging my mind? Ah, question mark. And this particular symbol, it tells that engage all the three in chanting the Holy Names and meditating the Lotus Feet of the Lord and will advance in Bhakti. Therefore, today when we are chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra, let's try our best to meditate on this triangle and engage our body, our mind and our words in chanting. Hare Krishna.